Hello, this is Victor from Parallels, and today I'll showcase you a new feature in Remote Application Server called Delegated Session Management. The idea of Delegated Session Management, it is useful for large enterprises and service providers, which wants to provide delegated session management to power users without giving too much permission in Remote Application Server. And also for the end user perspective, give them ability to customize the look and feel for every department or even you know, tenants that you might have. First, let's go to the remote application server console and let's look into what we call themes. In themes, I have different departments, but in this case here, I also added company A and company B. What we have in company A is a group of users. You can log in with your ID and password. However, what we have done in terms of customization is we created a custom URL for the theme. We changed the colors like we usually customize. Instead of using the parallels red, we have the white. And in the management side, we have created or linked different administrators. So if I click on tasks and go to delegate permission, I can see for company A and company B, I have different permissions. Right now it's mixed. So if I click on admin A, only sees users for company A. And if I am admin B, we have only company B. So how that works for the end user perspective. So let's go to the browser. And here's the generic URL we have for, you know, all users in the organization without any customization. But if I change my URL now and I use, for example, um, the same URL, we have it here before the same, uh, you know, structure, I will copy this name here and I'll paste it and say, call company A. We automatically change the look and feel. And now we can see how it's customized where, for example, Chick-fil-A, but it could, of course, it could be anything. If I use a user A and connect to my environment, we will see the applications that belongs to the user A. So let's allow to open the Parallels client. We can only see the applications for company A. And let me just launch, just for an example, in HTML5, here we uh, have WordPad. So once the session is launched, we'll see in the REST console, the user has a, a tenant name. So we come here as a global administrator at this point, and I come here to session hosts and my sessions. I can see different users connected using the default and company A. But let's go one step further and I will now connect with company B. So we will paste the same URL we had before. We'll connect this company B and I will use my new user B in this case. We'll log in, we see company B applications. So the filtering is working as predicted. We also will launch WordPad in this case in HTML5. So I have company A, I have company B users. So far, so good. So now we're just creating the profile for the user here and soon we'll see the application open. So while this is happening, let's go back here to my sessions. We'll refresh it. See, now we have company B. As a whole here, I'm a global administrator. I can see everything. But here is the part where we introduce in which Citrix no longer have it anymore, this particular feature in seven, uh, ZenApp 7. We will log off and I will log back in to the console now using the admin A. And let's use the correct password, click on connect. And now in the console, the first difference is all of the features or configurations we have in remote application server no longer available for you know power users we can see session hosts and vdi instances and instead of 
all of the sessions we had it before, I can only see what belongs to me. And if I log off and do the same thing with admin B, which is the company B, administrator, we see only the company B. And of course, if I want to control the session, we can disconnect, log off, send messages, and still do remote control, or look into specific processes and say you no longer need you know, WordPad or you want to terminate the process. All of those features are available for those power users. So let's say I just want to send a message saying hello. And then when I click send, we go back to the browser and here in the company B, the message hello was sent. Therefore, the ability of controlling the sessions without having to give the entire permission is great because that can alleviate the help desk or the service desk and users can have a little bit more freedom without making changes into the remote application server environment. For additional questions and comments, please come to parallels.com or engage our sales team and we'll be more than happy to assist you.